Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Lefty Heat, and today here with me is a well-known YouTuber. His name is Grand Pyromania. How are you doing today? I am doing pretty good. In fact, one might say I'm doing pretty grand. That's great. So let's get started <laughs> <laughs> with this interview. Here we go. When and why did you start LPing? Alright, so I started Let's Playing, ironically enough, on my mom's birthday, <laughs> um, October 23rd, 2009. And... Nice. Yeah, so I actually got into it because I googled one of my uh, real life friends' uh, username on some random site that we used to go on, and so I found his YouTube page, and I and I saw he had like a hundred something subscribers, and I was like, "Holy crap, this kid is big! He's like a YouTube superstar!" But um, after poking around his channel and kind of like watching, I'm like, "You know what? That looks really fun." So I basically had him explain to me everything, and I'm like, "Eh, I'm bored enough. Let's do it." So I started let's playing, and uh, well, the rest is history. And now, what was or is your favorite LP on your channel? Like, I know you're LPing Twilight Princess right now, so what would that be? Um, honestly, I don't, I don't actually have a favorite Let's Play, because I'm always looking at, like, the future. I don't want to dwell on the past or whatever. But I guess if you were to hold me down at gunpoint and tell me, Grab Harmania, what's your favorite Let's Play? Answer or you die! Then I would probably have to say it's a tie between... Portal and Kingdom Hearts, just because the fan reaction was, like, amazing yeah. for both, and I actually, I think I might favor Kingdom Hearts because it felt like I was truly telling a story, and it felt like, for whatever reason, I, like, brought it back into mainstream or whatever. I mean, I'm I'm sure I'm satiating my ego there, but, like, I saw, like, a bunch of KHLPs pop up after mine came out, but, eh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that, that's great. Like, Kingdom Hearts was a great game. I beat that game, and then Kingdom Hearts 2 was really good. Uh, what was your favorite Kingdom Hearts game, one or two? Um, I'd probably have to say one, because with two, you pretty much just have to hold down the triangle button, and you yeah. can beat the game. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. So what is your favorite video game console? Ooh, you had to ask that question. <laughs> um, I would definitely have to say PC. Um. PC. Yeah. A few years ago, all my friends got Xboxes. My parents refused to pay for an Xbox. And instead gave me a computer for school. A new computer for school. So one of my friends gave me um, Call of Duty 4 for the PC. And I competed nice. on it, like, because uh, there's actually a pretty big competitive scene on it. So I competed on it for, like, a good few months. You know, I upgraded, like, my computer so, it's play, so it could play a lot of games. And so, you know, I basically, after, like, while competing, I was in a Call of Duty 4 clan, and so it was just a general gaming clan, so, like, I kind of just branched out a lot and played a lot of PC games, and to this day, I still do play quite a few PC games, not as many as before, because I don't have my desktop, but, you know, a good amount. That's cool. Yeah, I don't think I'm really a hardcore PC gamer, but I, I do enjoy playing the PC games. Now, can you tell me, what is your favorite video game? My favorite video game? I always hate when this question is asked. <laughs> There's so many good ones out there. Um, I think overall, like, it probably have to be Call of Duty 4 for the PC, because as I, you know, uh, just said, like, I competed yeah. in it for a long while, um, and, you know, I just have a lot of fun with it, especially when you bring into, like, the competitive mods, which get rid of all the stupid perks, like, uh, Martyrdom, or, you know, gets rid of, like, NoobTube, makes it, like, truly competitive and just really fun. And, you know, I'm usually just up for playing Call of Duty 4 pretty much whenever, so. That's cool, yeah. Go with that. Call of Duty 4 was one of my favorite Call of Duty games. The storyline was great. I remember that one level with the nuke. That just, like, oh, blew me man. away when I saw that. on Because I played it for the Xbox 360. And trying that yeah. out with my HD TV, it was just crazy to see the nuke in, like, real time. and all. Like, uh, that man, must have yeah. taken them forever to actually, like, <laughs> animate, computer generate. No and joke. That, that's playing crazy. It settings. Yeah. Yeah. It's insane. All right, so are there any future or upcoming projects on your YouTube channel that you'd like to tell us about? Well, if there are any of my fans that are fans of your channel as well, then they'll know quite well that I'm very tight-lipped when it comes to any future projects or anything. But I will say that I do plan to revisit some of my old Let's Plays and kind of produce some uh, extra some like extra uh, content, like some bonus features, stuff like that. So stuff I said I'd do, but never actually got around to doing it because I procrastinated so long, but... I'm hoping to do that soon. Cool. Looking forward to that. And now, this is the moment we have been waiting for. So, 
you know, Skyward Sword's coming out on November 20th, 2011. So what are your thoughts on Skyward Sword? Are you looking forward to it? And, like, what can you tell me about that? My thoughts on Skyward Sword are probably going to be probably going to be the main, like, discussion in the comments. But I am actually not looking forward to it. I'm not excited for it. I'm incredibly, incredibly wary of it. I'm wow. very reserved. I'm kind of scared about it, actually. I'm hoping that Nintendo isn't going, like, being too overambitious with it. Yeah. See, I have, I have different thoughts when it comes to that. So what aren't you looking forward to in this game? Because... Like, with the footage from E3, I saw the first 15 minutes, and that was on YouTube, and it looked great so far. What, like, what are you um, not looking forward to about this game? I mean, the thing is, is that, like, I've been watching a ton of, like, gameplay trailers, you know? I mean, I've been obviously a little reserved, so I don't completely spoil it for myself. But, like, I've been very, very reserved about it, because it's just, when you look at a lot of the gameplay trailers and such, you'll see that Link is just very stiff. Uh, the animation's really, really... Well, I mean, for lack of better words, bad. I mean, it's not fluid. That it's it doesn't have the same Zelda fluidity that we all know and like grew up with, basically. And just in general, like it's just very, I don't know, just doesn't look like it's going to be as responsive as you know their Nintendo's making it out to be. And the thing is that I know people are going to be like, oh, but that's just a gameplay trailer. But the thing is that like you know these gameplay trailers aren't being recorded by some random person on the internet where who has like you know. Like, well, we, no we don't know they didn't pay a guy. They he, they could have paid a guy. That is true. You know, like at but... Nintendo, they could have like paid some dude. They were just like, oh, hey, want to record for us? You know, you never know. That is true. But then I'd be very, very disappointed in Nintendo for re releasing yeah. to the press a very, very bad gameplay trailer. But like, yeah. you know, more than likely, it's reasonably it's reasonable to assume that Skyward Sword, that all the gameplay trailers and such were recorded at the best and most optimal settings. So that includes quality yeah. and, like, response and everything. And just, to me, it doesn't look very responsive at all. So I'm just kind of reserved about it. I feel like at Nintendo, they would also have to take into consideration how your actual living room is going to react. And they probably actually set up certain tests that are just specified for, like, you to record, like, not record, but, like, play the game in, like, the condition that an everyday person would be playing it. So I feel like I agree and disagree with you, but... I do understand where you're coming from and how they are using the Wii Motion Plus, and this is the first Zelda game to be using this. So I'm sure there are a few bugs that have been taken out, and that's probably the reason why it's taken them so long to put this game out. Yeah. I mean, I, I at this point, like, I don't want to make a complete observation and be like, no, sorry, this, ga this game's going to suck. No, like, I'm, I'm just very, very reserved about it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to have high hopes for it because, you know, on the good chance on the chance that it completely stuns me you know it'll do that like if i if i go in with huge high hopes for it then you know i play it and i'm like oh then that'll be pretty disappointing you know meanwhile yeah. if i play it and i'm like thinking oh and it'll be like oh then you know <laughs> um, like oh <laughs> yeah then you know it's it, it'd be better for me as kind of like a gamer i guess but yeah. i'm just very right now i'm very very reserved kind of concerned about it so yeah, I mean, I know you're a Zelda guy. Do you own a 3DS at all? I don't. Unfortunately, I'm a student. Gonna have to buy one soon. <laughs> Get a Super Mario 3D Land and Mario Kart 7 coming out. They're gonna be great. Yeah. It's gonna be there, a lot of fun. Yeah, and there are a bunch of other games like Tales of the Abyss 3D coming out, which I, I do love the Tales series a lot. They're great RPG series. Yeah. But what I was going with when I asked you that question is that Ocarina of Time 3D came out, and that was a great game. And I feel like Nintendo knows the direction that they should be going with Zelda games, and I liked how they made the remake, and now I think Skyward Sword is just going to like complement the remake, and it's just going to be a great combination where we got the game on the Wii, you can play Ocarina of Time on your 3DS, and then I heard there was going to be a Zelda game for the Wii U. Do you have any thoughts on that? Um, I mean, if it looks anything like the, um, the tech demo that showed at E3, then I would be very excited, but again, like... There's so little known about it, and I, I believe that, yeah, you're right. I believe there is talk about them wanting to make a Zelda game for the Wii U. Um, but, you know, at this point, it's just a guessing game. And, of course, they're going to gauge their successes and failures from Skyward Sword, so. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. And November 20th, 2011 is going to be the day when we'll be able to try out the game. Unless you own 
a website or something and you're getting the game earlier, which would be really cool. But we'll just yeah. have to wait until that happens. Maybe one day we'll actually get the games early so we can show it off to everyone. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm jealous of the Zelda Universe guys. They they can uh, do that. So I'm jealous of them, especially because I'm like really close friends with them. And of course, they're never going to let me live it down, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I totally agree. Well, thanks again for being on the show today. It was great interviewing you. And is there anything else you'd like to tell everyone in this interview? Um, Chocolate chip muffins are pretty nice. I highly recommend them for breakfast. Cool. You heard him. Great advice. And that's about it for today. Thanks again for being on here. And this is Lefty Heat signing out. Peace. Peace.